You're overcomplicating your marketing because I know that you want to share these big ideas. You have these big things that you help people with, but then you have a really hard time of breaking it down or simplifying it for singular posts. Like a single video or a single piece of content just feels so hard because you have these big concepts and all these different things that you do. And you're like, how do I just like break it down into bite-sized pieces? Like I understand marketing at a higher level, but like what are the little pieces that I need to break it down in a way that it doesn't sacrifice the quality or oversimplify things, but I'm still conveying the complexity of what I do. Believe me, as like an engineer who wants structure and wants to really understand the nitty gritty and how to execute on a daily basis, I understand that desire to want to really understand the pieces of a, of a puzzle because so many people, they will kind of just slap shit together because they're not really sure what the micro actions are that they need to take. But my clients who are bringing in multiple applications for their coaching programs, even just from TikTok, are really not overcomplicating it. I'm gonna show you exactly what they do. So number one, you have a particular offer that you wanna drive more traffic to. So you have to think about what are the main problems that that offer speaks to? What are the main myths and misconceptions that are associated with that? What are the symptoms of that problem? And then what are the solutions, transformations, goals associated with it? So you'll have this like giant list. And so when you go through that giant list, I really want you to make sure that they're not fluffy get really specific instead of like they want to make more money and they're struggling to make more money say they post a singular piece of content if they feel like it's oversimplified or they're trying to say too much in a singular video this is what I'm talking about right now so that's actually a symptom of not having the implementation or processes or content frameworks so that way they can take larger marketing principles and execute them on a smaller level that's the real problem but I can't start with that so I started with the symptom and so you'll have this giant list and what you'll basically do is you'll cycle through each of those and you'll talk about a symptom of a problem a myth or misconception and a solution whether it's all together or in separate pieces of content it really depends i find that all together works well on tiktok and then separating them does really well on instagram but it really depends on the the person the platform the type of content they create whether they're in a launch phase or this is evergreen and if that doesn't really hit the way that you want it to, sometimes that means that your personal brand or your brand in general doesn't have that core mission. It feels all over the place. It doesn't have clear values attached to it. So it has that depth and not just, we help people with this one thing. It doesn't have clear differentiators. So you stand out and you're not just being compared to or competing with other brands in the market. Another piece is just not understanding the ideal client or there's a disconnect between your marketing and your offer. So your sales are not really working because people are confused and so they're not buying. So there's a lot of things that can influence this, but at a really basic level, that's how you need to approach your marketing. And then if you see that that's not really working after, after a while, you have to be consistent, then you can evaluate and do market research, evaluate your sales process, see what the engagement is like, look at the data and try to use that as feedback from your marketing to influence your brand, your sales, your offer.